this is problem 6.6 .6. and here we have a truss with several members we have four external forces we have a roller at F and a pin at A. A roller creates only one reaction because only restricts the displacement in Y direction. And then we have a pin at A that restricts two displacement in X and Y, therefore it has two reactions. In this case, we are asked to find the forces in member AD, which is this one right here, EH, which is this one right here, and GH, which is this one right here. Therefore, we will use the method of sections or sections method. And we will do a cut right here to find those members. However, the first step in the section method is to find the external reaction. So, to do that, we will do the free body diagram of the whole structure or the whole truss. And that will be something like that, right? I have my external forces apply, which is 40 kilonewtons, 30 kilonewtons, and I have two other forces here, 50 kilonewtons and 40 kilonewtons. And then I have the reactions in my external support. As I said, F only restricts motion in Y direction, therefore we have only one reaction, Fy and A has two re reactions because it restricts two displacement AX and AY. So this is my free body diagram of the whole structure. Now that I have the free body diagram, I can apply equations of equilibrium. My equations of equilibrium will be adding forces in X equals to zero and they lead me to AX, and these two reaction forces will be 30 minus 40 equals to zero. Therefore, AX is equals to 70, right? Then I add forces in Y, and I have two unknowns, which will be FY plus AY minus 40 minus 50 equals to zero. Since I have two unknowns, I have to apply moment respect to one of the point, either in A or if J. So let me apply moments, for example, at A equals to zero, and what do I get? This distance is known, so this will be positive 1.5 times 40. Then this distance over here is 3, and it creates also a positive moment, 3 times 30, right? This 50, as you see, goes directly to point A, so it does not produce moment respect to point A, but at 40 does, right? I can slide my force to here, and this distance over here will be 2, and it will be a positive moment times 40. And then I have the force F that produce, an, produce moment and the distance is 4 and it's a negative moment. So it will be negative 4 times Fy equals to 0. From here I can solve for Fy which is give me the value of 57.5 newtons And now that we have Fy, we can introduce it in this equation, and then we get Ay equals to 32.5 kilonewtons. This is kilonewtons. Now that we have our external reactions, we can choose to make our cut. 
going to use the method of sections. The cut that I will do is this one right here, right? Because that's the three members that we find, want to find out. Once I choose which cuts I want to make, I can either choose to draw the free body diagram of the rigid body that is left in the left side or the one that is in the right side. So I can choose to draw this free body diagram or I can choose to use draw this free body diagram. Well, since this is smaller, let's just choose to draw this free, the free body diagram. So I will draw the free body diagram of cut. One, let me call it this one, and I have to choose which side I will die, and I will write the left side. The left side will be just this tiny triangle, which is F, G, and E, and I, I have the Fy force that I just calculated, which is equals to 57.5 kilonewtons. As you see, I do not need these other two reactions because I chose to draw the left side. If I choose to draw the right side, I will need these two reactions. And then, of course, I can never forget the external forces, which is 40 kilonewtons. And I have to draw my internal forces. The internal forces will be the ones that I cut. I will always cut and uh, draw them going uh, out from out to from the joint because I am assuming they are in tension. And if I get a negative value, they will be in compression. So here, this will be reaction ED. This will be reaction EH. And this will be reaction G, H. I need this angle over here, right? This angle over here is from the triangle to 1.5. If I multiply both sides, so if this I multiply by two, there will be three, and if I multiply by two, this will be four. So this triangle is equivalent to the very well-known triangle that we know, which is three, four, and this is five. So I can actually use that triangle, and as you know, the, this is the angle of this triangle right here. This is the angle that I'm looking for. And as you know, cosine of this angle will be adjacent over hypotenuse, and the sine of this angle will be opposite over hypotenuse. Now that I have already all the dimensions, because I know this is two, right? This is two, and this is 1.5. Then I can uh, do the equations of equilibrium for that cut. So equations of equilibrium will be, and I will have the reaction EH in Y, right? So it will be sine of theta. In X, I have the three of them. So I have plus the FY, which I know that is 56.5, and then I have negative 40 kilonewtons. Therefore, I solve, for, that equals to zero, Therefore, I solve for the reaction H1. And then, as you see, it's the only unknown. Let me get you the value. And that value is equals to 29.2 kilonewtons. And I get a positive value. Therefore, it is in tension. Now, we will then decide what do we want to do in order to find those two. We can take, for example, moment at this point, and we'll be able to find that one. And then, since we will have these two unknowns, we can add forces in x. So let's do that. So we add moment 
for example, at point E equals to zero, and then when I take moment respect to E, I know that this dimension, let me do it correctly, this is 1.5, so I have, I place my hand on E, and I get this is 1.5 times this reaction, GH, right? These two do not produce any moment because they are placed at E, and neither does the force 40 kilonewtons. So the only moment that I have is negative 2, and the force that I already calculated, 57.5 equals to zero. Therefore, my reaction GH is equals to 76.7 .7 kilonewtons. And this is also in tension. And finally, we can add forces in X or take moment respect to any other point. So if there's many ways to get to the same solution. And if we add forces in X, we will have ED, right, plus REH, we, we already know, right? And in this case, we do have to multiply by cosine of theta. And the cosine of theta is 4 fifths. And uh, we already had this one, we already had this one, and we have to add this one, G, H. This is equal to zero. And si since we already found this one and this one, we can solve for that one. The reaction at E, D. And the reaction is negative 100 kilonewtons. Since we got a negative value, it means that that member is in compression. So if we analyze our trust, because it's always important to see the result and it does they, they make sense. Am I apply, I am applying forces in this direction. It means that this one over here gave me a compression and this over here gives me a tension. So it's kind of bending this way. So I am compressing the, the members that are in the top and I am actually extending, so to say, the one that is in the bottom. So it makes sense.